we're really proud of these guys. You know, you got to come back less than 24 hours later and play uh, a great UMass team. I, you know, I think as coaches, you look up to certain people in this industry, and uh, Coach Frank Martin is one of those guys for me. He develops uh, an incredible culture, a great program, Hall of Famer. Uh, their teams always have an identity. You know what you're going to get, and his teams get better. So I have the absolute utmost respect for Coach Martin, his program, and have watched him for a long time and tried to install some of the stuff he does here at Temple. Um, but again, really proud of these guys. I thought we really stepped up. Uh, you know, first off, thank you guys for staying. It was a long game, right? I know that seems like a long game. Uh, but we're happy to get out of here with a win uh, and get back home and then uh, take care of our academics tomorrow. Then we get focused on the next one. Jamal, you reached the 2,000 career point mark tonight. Just how do you feel reaching that milestone? It feels good. I mean, it feels even better getting it in a win. I mean, uh, I honestly didn't know I even got to that mark. I, my teammates had to tell me and stuff. I mean, I'm just, I'm just really locked in on getting the win and stuff like that. So that, it feels even better getting it with a win. When they did tell you during the game, what was your reaction to finding out? Or were you just focused on closing out UMass? I'm gonna be honest, I was just so focused. I mean, I'm always pretty even keeled and stoic. So, um, you know, I just, you know, said thank you and I'm grateful and, you know, we move on to the next one. So. That's more points than your dad, right? Yes. <laughs> and what's been working well so far for you this season? You've scored 20 or more points in every single game so far. Just what's, what's been working well for you early this season? Um, I'm just reading what the defense has given me and, uh, you know, just constantly staying in attack mode. I mean, I, um, you know, I've done a great job, I feel like, of just, you know, creating a lot of fouls and, uh, you know, just being able to control the game in that way. Um, you know, I got to do a much better job at the line that I've been doing this year. So um, get back in the gym and focus on that. But um, I just think overall, I mean, he just you know, he gives, gives us the freedom, gives me the freedom to be able to be myself and uh, go out there and attack. And I'm just always going to be in that mode. So. Um, Shane, today, eight, eight points to come. Eight points tonight. It kind of felt like you kind of found your form that you kind of had at the end of last season. How's it kind of been trying to get just comfortable with the first four, four or five games this year? Um, you know, it was. I would say um, this game was a little bit better for me um, compared to the last games. Um, I would say I've been struggling, but my teammates have been very um, comforting and telling me just you know stay at it, keep working, keep playing hard. And um, the coach has just been on me about just keep working, staying, staying just uh, consistent with my work. So. Um, Today, it actually started to show a little bit, and I'm just happy that you know we got the win. Jamal, now you're in the, the AAC, and uh, you got Houston in your conference. How are you um, enjoying playing in this conference versus where you were when New Mexico? I love it. I mean, I love it. I mean, I just, I love basketball, man, so. It's just anywhere I'm gonna play. I mean, I'm just gonna have a blast and have fun and always continue to get better. So, uh, Philadelphia and the AAC, I mean, they, they've you know brought me in and you know I'm just ready to continue to hoop and I can't wait for conference play. But you know we got another one we got to deal with in Big Five in LaSalle. So that's just what we're focused on right now. So. Hey, Jamal, uh, you know, so every game kind of takes on different character. This one was sort of the rest we're calling a lot in both ways. How do you adjust to that? Uh, you know, you just read the game. I mean, yeah, they definitely were calling a lot of fouls early and just the entire game. I mean, you just got to play through it, um, stay uh, stay together, and I make sure our huddles are great. Um, we can only control what we can control. I mean, we can't control, you know, how refs are going to call the game or, or what calls they're going to call or hand checks, whatever. I mean, we just got to keep playing and keep being together and um, just keep believing in ourselves. So that's all. How do you feel like your, your press break? You know, there were some, some very good and then some miscues. Yeah, I mean, we, we, um, we're not a finished product. I mean, we got things we got to correct, uh, which we will. I mean, we're glad we get to go back and rest and have a week before we play. Um, and then, um, yeah, I mean, we, the beauty about the game and about us is we have, you know, a lot of improvements to make, but I feel like we're pretty good. So um, we're going to do that and be together and continue just to get better every day. Adam, I want to ask about the lineup change, um, right? I don't know if you're trying to spark Shane or get more production from the bench. What was, what was it then? Yeah, you know, we, we've had some different lineups this year. We just went a little bit of change with the matchups. Um, I thought Zion Stanford tonight was awesome. I thought he played great. 
Um, I thought he was under control. Um, he did some really good stuff. I thought Shane was really good. You know, Shane missed the first 25 practices of the season, so he keeps coming back. And I, I, guys that know him uh, know the type of player he is. And I thought, you know, we just wanted him out there to start. And uh, you know, again, it's it's a team effort. It's 16 guys, so just a small change from uh, last game. But I thought Z and Shane. Were Coach, this is your first game against one of four, maybe even five Atlanta 10 teams you have on your schedule this season. Why did, does this feel like it's a very important game, especially with UMass having the big rivalry from the 1990s with John Cheney and John Calipari? What does that mean to you and this Temple program? Yeah, you know, this is a great rivalry. Um, you know, if you, if you, I grew up obviously outside of Philadelphia, so you know what the rivalry is. Um, these games are always going to be close. They're always going to be physical. The guys have to compete. Um, so it, I thought it was a great game for us. Again, Coach Martin, we have great respect for his team. He's going to prepare you for league play uh, with everything that they do. So uh, it's a great rivalry. Uh, happy to get the win against them, but I think they're going to have a great season. Coach, is Jamal Mashburn about as good as you expected him to be? No, have you seen his free throw? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, he, he's phenomenal, right? He, he's, first off, not even as a basketball player, the more you get to know Jamal Mashburn Jr., what an incredible, like, young man. Like, he's so mature. Like, he's already a pro. He just handles his business, his schoolwork, on the court, his body, everything. Um, and just a high character, great, great person. Um, and then on the court, you see what he can do. He's special. He is. He always has been. Um, and he's such a team guy, right? Like, he just wants to win. So whatever he needs to do to help our team win. So, no, he, he's been fantastic. What's kind of your reaction to him reaching that 2,000 career point mark? And, and, you know, I think it's incredible, right? You think about, first off, he, he's played in some really great leagues. So to score 2,000 points in the leagues he's been at and been in the NCAA tournament, like he's done it on really good teams and really good leagues. Um, and again, I'm, I'm glad he's on our team. Early in that first half, you guys kind of set the tone and took a, I think it was a 14 or 15 point lead. And then UMass kind of responded and got it down to as little as one or two. What worked well for you guys early and how did, what did you see UMass do to adjust and get that game back to being competitive? You know, they, they did a really nice job of driving the basketball. You know, we, we put them at the foul line, um, I think it was 24 or 28 times in the first half, so they were just putting their head down and, you know, getting points at the line. So we had to do a much better job of that in the second half, moving our feet and, uh, you know, not reaching. But I thought they did a really nice job of, hey, they got a rebound, they were just driving it right at us. So I will continue to work on that, but I thought that was their big change when they were making their run. And coming out of the locker room, you guys again kind of took one of those spurts and took another double-digit lead. What was kind of the game plan coming out of the locker room to regain control of the game? You know, we, we regroup at halftime. You know, it's kind of, uh, we ask our players, what do they see, right? Because you need to know what they see out there. Um, and then we talk about it. We, we make a commitment to each other to go play Temple basketball for 40 minutes. Um, if the game was only 20, there'd be a lot of different wins and losses. So we talk about, hey, the first 20's done. What can we do in this next 20 to continue to play Temple basketball? Coach, you talked about the adjustments coming out of halftime. One of the biggest ones probably the rebounding, being able to out-rebound in the second half after getting out-rebound in the first half. What kind of change did you see to make, and how big was Baba Tunde to, to that? Unbelievable, right? We always ask our team, and I was just talking about it in the locker room, like, how do you affect winning? What can you do? He had 12 rebounds, which was huge, and I think 18 minutes, right? Like, that's incredible. Uh, and it was just simple things like we only had three offensive rebounds I think in the second half we gave up and a couple two were I think were late So for almost the whole half we had only one It's just a little bit more effort a little bit smarter hitting someone going to get the basketball And uh, I thought that was a huge change for us on rebound And last night he talked about you talked about Jameel being able to say if you can rebound and you can play defense You get more minutes on this team did the same thing tonight two, two steals coming off the bench and also at 10 points really was able to help um, stifle that first few maps run. How big has he been able to be coming off the bench for you? He's been great, right? He's a, an experienced guy who played in the Big Ten, high IQ, can make shots, guards, he talks. Uh, you know, he, he had to come out of the game, he was injured, he's fine, but like, you know, he was playing great. He was playing really well and he's continued. He's a great leader uh, and a great young man. And then on Tuesday, 
we talked about how much like Quante has been getting used to just being in the starting line, being comfortable. He's been more aggressive these five games as it's gone on. He's been probably the most aggressive that he was tonight with 12 points, seven, seven shots, and just felt more comfortable driving. What did we kind of see from him in the course of these five games? He rebounded, right? He had six rebounds tonight. Like, if he can rebound, now we don't have to outlet to anybody, right? He can get it and go. I thought he knew when to drive tonight. Um, a couple times, continued to play off two feet, but I thought he was very aggressive and did a really nice job with the foul line. As we kind of get to that, like, December 10th game when Lynn's able to come back, what do you think is going to be able to bring to this team that that you've been see for the first five games this year? Right now, he's focused on just trying to help us beat LaSalle in our next game, and then that's our only focus, him getting better every day. He works with our team. He practices. That's what he's doing right now. Yeah, I wanted to ask about Jamil. Did he get, like, in a shot in an uncomfortable spot or something? And yeah, I believe that's what happened. I was told, yeah, so he has to come out of the game, so we got him out. Um, as far as, you know, coming off now two games and you're playing sort of once a week, like, was it important for sort of the mindset of the guys not, right, you lose this one and then you're, it's it's three weeks since you won a game. You yeah, you know, or? we don't really look at it like that, Sean. You know, our, for us, it's, hey, let's keep getting better. Let's go to the film. Um, you know, what excited me was this is such a short prep, right? You don't get to meet your team last night till 9.30. You're showing video. Then you got to rest. Um, and I think they, you know, great credit to the staff. Um, I thought Coach Uter, Coach Jordan did an awesome job. Coach Wyatt, uh, Coach Ortelli getting us prepared for everything that they did today. And I think being able to retain that information in a short time shows the IQ we have on this team. Coach, quick turnaround with the, you know, and the tough loss last night. You look at a game like this and you say, you know, it gets you ready for tournament play, but really, after listening to you answer these questions, you know, this team is building culture and you got an incredible leader in Mashburn. And um, how fun is it to be doing this as your first head coaching job? Well, first of all, it's awesome to be doing it at Temple, right? To be one of the most winningest programs in all college basketball, like that's exciting. And we have great young men. Like we have great leaders on this team. Steve Settle's another guy. Um, another guy who's been a great leader who didn't play much these two games, Matteo Piccarelli. And he's still a captain, and he's done a great job leading behind the scenes, and I'm proud of him. He's helping us win these games as well. So it, it's great. Being in Philadelphia is awesome. Being at an amazing academic school like Temple, too. So it, it's, it's a great fit.